All right, Mike, so it's the last day of the promotion. Where's the product ranking? So when we launched this product earlier this week, we were nowhere to be found on Amazon. This morning, though, I did a search for Hip Band for Women, and out of the 3,000 results, you'll see that we are now in position number four. And look at that. We're actually outranking this product below, which has got 1,800 reviews, and we've got no reviews at all. That's awesome. What you're going to learn today changes everything you may think you know about business. Billion dollar companies that have been around for decades have historically had all the advantage. They had all the money, all the contacts, all the staff and relationships and so they dominated, but not anymore. You see Amazon has made available powerful tools that used to be available only to big name brands to everyone, including people like you and us. What's even better, most sellers have no idea how to use these the right way to get massive results on Amazon. In today's video, you're going to discover how how to launch a brand new product to the top of Amazon, even if you've never sold on Amazon before and your product has just been created. If you haven't watched the previous two videos yet, go do that right now. But assuming you have, let's get started. First, Rich is going to show you how to create a new product listing inside of Amazon Seller Central. Thanks, Matt. So once you've picked a product to sell on Amazon and ordered inventory, you need to create a product listing inside Amazon so you can start selling your product when it's ready. So let's go take a look exactly how to do this. Once you've logged into Seller Central, just put your mouse over Catalog and then click on Add Products. Once you're on the Add a Product page, you want to scroll down and then where it says List a New Product, you could ignore the search bar and just click on Create a New Product Listing underneath. Once you're here, you just want to type in the name of your product into the search bar and click on Find Category. You can go ahead and try and find it yourself by clicking on the links underneath, but it's just much better to use Amazon Search to find it for you. So I'm going to use Stainless Steel Soap Dispenser. So once you put the name of your product in, you just wanna click on Find Category. Now you can use the left-hand side to navigate into each of these categories, but we can see straight away we've got a subcategory which matches exactly what our product is. You can see it here, countertop soap dispensers. Now you can also put it under bathroom accessory sets if you wanted, but I'm just gonna go ahead for the sake of this example and choose countertop soap dispensers. And that brings up the actual product listing and this is where we have to fill in the information it's asking us for and we'll quickly walk you through this. So my product name, I've just put in stainless steel soap dispenser and don't worry, you're not tied to this and you'll actually see that later on. When you're creating your listing at first, just put in a name that describes your product. If you haven't already come up with a brand name, don't worry again, you can change this later, but I'm just gonna make up a name and call it Rich Kitchen. And then for the manufacturer, you're just gonna use exactly the same name as your brand name. So I'm gonna copy it, paste that in. And you can see we filled out the first tab. The next tab, we can ignore variations, but the next one we have to fill in is offer. And you always know if there's information that you're missing that you have to have, because you'll see this red triangle with the exclamation mark in it. So I'm gonna click on offer. And here it's asking for a price. Again, this is something you can change at a later date. For now, I'm just gonna put in 1999. Don't worry about the seller SKU, they will create that for you. Condition is very important. You want to make that new. And then under fulfillment channel, it's absolutely critical that you say, I want Amazon to ship and provide customer service. So it's the second option. By default, it should be checked. If it isn't, make sure you check the second option. Now, what's interesting is, if you look up at the top, you'll see under vital info, we've got the triangle with the exclamation mark, which means there's something new that we have to fill in in that tab to be able to complete this listing. So I'll go back to Vital Info, and it's asking me for a product ID. And basically, this is a UPC number if you don't have an existing brand or product. So I put the number in, and then I have to click on Select to choose which form of number we're using, and I'm using a UPC. And there you go, you can see the error message has gone away. Make sure you check the box for Don't Show This Again, and then just click on Save and Finish. And that's it, you've actually created your initial listing. Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna see the screen that says your listing is being created. It could take up to 30 minutes. So you can go away and do other things while you wait. If you click on the continue button, it's actually gonna show you an error message. It's nothing to worry about. It's just because Amazon are processing the listing. So that's it. That's how straightforward it is to set up your listing to begin with on Amazon. 
There are a lot of options available to you when you set up your listing. Most of it, you don't need to worry about. However, when it comes to generating quick sales for your product, you absolutely must pay attention to a few critical details for your listing. If you get these right, you could start selling immediately, even with zero reviews. If you get them wrong, you may never sell very well. So Rich, let's show them what product listing optimization is all about. So we have done the basic listing setup. Now let's take a look at what we can do to improve the sales and conversion of our listing. The two most important elements of your listing are the image and the title. And we are going to start with the image. You have up to nine images you can use on your listing and you should try and utilize all of them. Your main image is the most important. It should just be your product and nothing else like text or badges and it should be at least 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels, which makes it zoomable. Let's take a quick look at what that means. So here's our soap dispenser. And as you can see, if I put my mouse cursor over the image, it's zoomable. You get a nice big zoomed in image of what the product is. And it's very important that you make that happen. And just making sure it's at least 1000 by 1000 pixels means it will do this. So one thing to note here, this main image actually does break Amazon's TOS in other words, their terms of service on what you're allowed to do with the main image. Now you will see many sellers who are willing to risk this. However, we do not recommend it. So in this case, with this image, you would not have the upgrade there. And to be quite honest, you probably shouldn't have this button image in the bottom left hand side either. For the remaining images, you are not as restricted as the main image. This is great because we can get more creative. So what type of images should you use? Lifestyle images. And these are images with people using your product. Features images. Images showing the features of your product. And benefits images. Images showing the benefits of your product. And also you can have accessories images. If your product comes with accessories, then you can have an image showing those. So if we look here, if we look at the second image, if I zoom in here, you can see switch on, press and hold the plus button for one to two seconds, the red light will flash. So this is showing features and it's a really, really good image. They do a really good job of showing it as a feature of the product. Next, you've got another feature, which is the infrared light, which enables you just to put your hand or sponge underneath and get the soap. So that's a feature, but it's also a benefit. If we go a bit further, this is actually an instructional image. It's showing you how things work, where to put the batteries and things like that. Next, they've got an image showing each step. So each step for setting up the product and actually using it. So again, it's an instructional image. Next, this colorful image, and it's very eye-catching, is showing you the benefits. Basically of being able to wash your hands without actually touching anything. And lastly, you've got the lifestyle shot. Now, admittedly, a soap dispenser, it's not exactly an easy subject to create lifestyle images for, but in this case, they've got someone washing their hands. Now, one last thing before we move on from images, I just want to show you an example of a listing that doesn't have the kind of images that our main product does here. So if we look at this other one, this is Simple Human. You can see their images are incredibly basic and it's really just a couple of basic images, nothing very eye-catching, nothing very exciting. They are not using all the images and although they do have the zoom on their images, you can see if someone was comparing this product to the product we were just looking at, the one we were just looking at, the images are going to catch people's attention and it's much more likely to convert. So now we have covered images. We can move on to the text part of your listings. You should have a good idea of what your main keywords are. Now there's no need to overthink it at this point. It just needs to be phrases you think customers would use to find your product. And that's what keywords are. So using the soap dispenser as an example, we might have soap dispenser, stainless steel, hands-free, automatic, countertop. But if you are not sure what your keywords should be, you can look at similar products and also Amazon actually provide you with suggestions. So let's take a quick look at how that works. So we're just at the normal page on Amazon. And if I type in soap, you can see it's bringing up soap dispenser. But we can go further and type in the first few letters of soap dispenser. And all of a sudden, look what we're seeing. We're seeing soap dispenser for kitchen sink. So kitchen sink might be good keywords. We've got automatic. We've already got that in our list. Bathroom. So far, we've just been talking about the kitchen. Pump. Again, that's another word. 
Basically, all of these phrases that Amazon is showing you are ones that are actively searched for on Amazon, so they're important. And it's a great way of actually finding keywords for your product. And you can play around with this. You could start with stainless steel soap and see what that shows you. So as I say, that's a way of letting Amazon help you find keywords. But also, just look at your competing products. Now, never ever copy anything they've got. In other words, don't copy their title or their bullet points. Amazon do help you find keywords if you're stuck. But always remember, one of the easiest ways to find keywords for your product is just look at other competing products and what they use. But never ever copy either their title or bullet points word for word. You must create your own title. So now that you've got an idea about keywords, the first thing we are going to look at is the title, which along with the images are the most important part of your listing. Depending on what category you are in, you will be permitted anything from 50 to 200 characters. And you can find the limits on anything on your listing by searching for the style guide for your category. And you can do that inside Seller Central. Now you need to include as many of the following as you can and really important, Try not to duplicate any words. So, you want your main keyword and you want that at the beginning of your title. You also want your brand because you want to start building brand recognition. You want the main benefit and the main feature of your product. Then, if you can add some secondary keywords, then do that. And then if you've still got more space, you can add more benefits and more features. An example title for our soap dispenser using some of the keywords we identified might be Automatic Soap Dispenser by Rich Kitchens Hands Free for No Mess No Fuss Stainless Steel with Infrared Sensor for Kitchen Countertop or Bathrooms Now you'll notice that I didn't repeat any of the keywords and that's very important. If we take a quick look at the product we found you can see they do a pretty good job of this too. You can see they've got the main keyword soap dispenser at the beginning followed by the brand and then they mix in some keywords. They're also talking about benefits and features. So again, it's always a good idea to go and look at your competitors' titles, but once more, do not copy other people's titles. Now, the next most important section is the listing bullet points. You have more space to work with here, anything from 50 to 500 characters per bullet point, and you have five bullet points. You should use the bullet points to do the following. Add more important keywords add more product benefits, add more product features, and overcome any potential customer objections. So let's take a look at our example listing to see what they've done. So we're back at the same soap dispenser, and if we scroll down, you can see how much they've used their bullet points to get as much text on the screen as possible. And they mix it up really well. They're using a mixture of benefits and features, and they're also using keywords. And it's perfectly okay to use the same keywords in your bullet points that are in your title. By all means, go and look at what they're doing with this listing. It's a very good example of what you can and can't do. However, one word of caution, you can see they're using brackets here. That's probably a gray area as far as Amazon's TOS. So be a little bit careful about that. And again, find the style guide for your category. It will tell you exactly what you need to know. Now I do just want to point out one more thing, and that's the overcoming objections. They've done this really well by putting a 90 day refund and one year replacement warranty. Now we all know that Amazon have a 30 day money back guarantee or a 30 day refund, whichever way you want to look at it. What they are saying is they will extend that to 90 days and you can do this. But one thing they haven't done is they haven't said it's a manufacturer's warranty and it's a small thing, but it's something you should put in there because if you don't put manufacturer again, you could be crossing into a gray area with Amazon's TOS. But don't worry too much about this. At the end of the day, if you don't put brackets in and try and be too fancy, you're gonna be good. Just get more benefits, more features, more keywords, and put something in there about the refund and a warranty, because it is a great way of overcoming people's fears about spending money, really. So we've covered the images, the title, and the bullet points. The next thing is the description. Now, the description has become less important over the past few years, but it can still be important in helping convert your potential customers into buyers. So use it to give a complete overview of your product and why your potential customers should buy yours instead of a competitor's product. You can also talk about your brand here and even tell a story about your product. It really is up to you. 
but make sure you use it and feel free to add keywords you've already used previously and any more that you find too. It's a nice big chunk of text that you can use and don't discount it just because I say it's not as important. So I just want to show you a real quick example and it's the same product we were using before. This is their product description. You can read through it. You can see they give an overview of the entire product, what its specifications are, and they do a really good job. Now, they have got something called brand registry, which you're not going to get straight away. You have to register your brand. And once you've done that, you can see they're adding images here and you'll be able to do that too. But when you first launch a product, you won't be able to do that. You'll only have text. Lastly, we are going to look at an important aspect of your listing which is not actually visible and that is what we call the back-end search terms and you can find them under the Keywords tab. You want to add any keywords you are not able to include in your title and bullet points but you need to follow some important rules here. You can only use a maximum of 250 characters and as you'll see you have five lines to put this on and that's for all five lines. You can't put 250 on each line. It's critically important that you only use 250 characters. Only use words, no commas or separators of any kind and do not add keywords that are in your title or bullet points because it's a waste of space. Okay, so now you know all the things you need to add to your listing. I'm quickly going to show you where these go. So for your images, all you need to do is click on the Images tab and then choose File and locate the image on your computer, add all these images and then click Save and Finish. For your title, it's under Vital Info and it's actually the product name. The two are synonymous, so you can use the the product name is the product title. So that product title we came up with, we put it in here, and again, it's save and finish. For the description, self-explanatory, you would click on the description tab and put it in there. And put it into this box where it says product description. The key product features are actually the bullet points. And so you would click on the add more button so that you have five, and then you would fill in your bullet points here. And lastly, keywords. This is where your back-end keywords go. And what you're looking for is this here, search terms. And by all means, read their rules, but it's telling you there it's 250 bytes maximum in length, but it's basically 250 characters. And remember, that's a total for all five lines. So you can put your 250 characters on one line or you can click add more, but remember, no more than 250 characters. Optimizing your listing is very important. If you do not have a big list of keywords, do not let that worry you. You will get a lot more once your listing is live and you are running Amazon ads. Back to you, Matt. So now you know how to create an Amazon product listing and how to optimize it to put yourself in a great position to start generating sales fast. The next step is to coordinate a product launch so your sales and rankings take off immediately and you start producing profit as soon as possible. Mike has perfected a system to do just that and he's going to walk you through it. So let's say that I've just created my own brand of this product. I've created my well-optimized listing, I've gotten a few reviews, and now I'm ready to produce sales fast. The process we've developed to do this is called the listing launch system. And instead of telling you how to do it, we're actually going to show you how to do it. And to do that, we launched our very own product with a brand that we have called Fury Fitness. And this product is a hip band, and it's used by men and women for exercise. And we're gonna show you how we launched this four days ago, and we're able to get it up to page one. The first thing that we're going to do is take advantage of Amazon's 180 million plus unique monthly visitors. Over the past several years, there's been a shift in how people buy products online. Before Amazon became the powerhouse that it is today, People would usually go to one of the search engines, such as Google, Yahoo, or Bing, and start their search for whatever product they were looking to buy there. Today, however, more and more people go straight to Amazon to begin their shopping journey. That means that if you can get your product to show up when customers are searching right on Amazon, you can greatly increase your chances of someone buying your product over all the others out there. But how do you do that? Well, Amazon tries to make this simple for you through something called Amazon Sponsored Products. This is their own internal advertising platform that lets anyone selling on Amazon get their products showing up in the search results for the millions of customers searching for products each day. Setting up these sponsored products ads is the next step in the listing launch system. So here I am in my Seller Central account, and in order to set up these sponsored product ads, we go to the advertising and then the campaign manager. From here, we simply give our campaign a name, and we're gonna call this the hip band. 
since that's the product that we'll be launching. Now for the daily budget, this is just the maximum we're looking to spend each day on ads. We can start off incredibly low, and I'm gonna start with just $10 per day. Then the start date would be today, March 8th, and as far as the end date goes, you just leave that wide open. You don't have to put an end date in because you can simply come in whenever you want to and pause these ads. Now the next thing we need to do is choose the targeting type. Now we have two options here. We have manual targeting or automatic targeting. Manual targeting means that you know all the search words that people are typing in when looking for your product, and automatic targeting says, let's let Amazon do that for us. So when we're starting out with new products, we simply select automatic targeting, and that way Amazon is gonna show our products to the people they know are looking for the products that we're selling. Now once we've done that, we simply continue on to the next step. Now we need to give our ad group a name, but I just leave it as the default, ad group number one. And we also have to choose the products that we will be advertising. So this is our hip band. And we do a search. And there's our product showing up right now. We'll select that. Now the next thing we need to do is actually suggest a default bid. So what this means is every time someone clicks on our advertisement to buy it, what's the maximum amount that we're willing to spend? Amazon is suggesting 95 cents. I usually like to start off lower because we can always raise these bids. So let's just make this 50 cents. And once we've done that, once we've selected our budget for each day, once we've selected our product, and once we've selected our default bid, that's all there is to it. We simply click save and finish, and our ads will start showing up in a matter of 15 minutes. Once you have your ads running, the next step is something so new that hardly anyone is using it. Over the past several years, there's been a huge shift in where products are advertised on the internet, and that shift is to social media. If you use Facebook, then you probably already know what I'm talking about because you can't log into your Facebook account without seeing ads for products and services right in your newsfeed that are tailored to you based upon all the different information that Facebook has on you. And the same is true for Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and even YouTube. Now, Amazon is incredibly smart and they wanna take advantage of this shift. So they've started creating tools just for that type of advertising. One of these tools that they've recently created is something called the social media promo code. This is a very specific type of discount code that you, as a professional seller on Amazon, can create and distribute on all the forms of social media that we talked about, or even just through something as simple as an email. Let me show you how to set one up. Now, here I am inside my Seller Central account again, and I'm going to the Promotions menu now. And you again go to Advertising and click on Promotions. The Social Media Promo Code is the first type of promotion that we'll be setting up, and we'll click on Create. Now from here, you need to select the product that you'll be advertising, and that's gonna be our new hip band. Then you also select the percentage off you wanna give customers, and I like to start off with 50% off for a product launch. Next, you pick a start date and an end date, and usually I run these for about a week to 10 days. I can always extend them later on. So today is March the 8th. Let's make this go all the way through March the 17th. Then we'll give us a quick little internal description just so that we can see these results and reports. Hip band 2.0 social media launch. And then down in the next section are a couple options that didn't exist before. We're gonna leave the cling code type as group, but under redemptions per customer, this is brand new. One of the fears of creating a deep discount, such as a 50% off coupon code, is that everyone's gonna go in and buy 10 or 20 or all of your products. Well, Amazon created the special social media promo code so that you can actually limit it to only one product per person using this discount. So I always make sure that that option is selected. And then all we need to do is hit the review button to confirm everything on the screen. We'll go through and make sure everything looks okay. We're giving you a 50% off discount. The start and end dates look good. There is the claim code that we don't have to worry about because the really cool thing about using this link is that Amazon will automatically apply that discount for each customer who goes to the page that we're going to give them. Now, once this looks good, all we do is hit submit. And then within four hours, the link that we'll get from this discount will be live and we can use it in our promotions and in our launches. So the next step then is to get that link out to the world so you can start selling. Let me show you the three simple yet incredibly powerful ways to do that. So in order to get the link that we just created, we'll go back into the promotion once it's live, and I've done that here. 
you scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the link to the marketing page. And when we click on that, and when your customers click on that, it's gonna take them right to this page where they can have that discount automatically applied to this product. So I'm going to copy that link because we'll be using that later on in the rest of this launch formula. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is something incredibly simple. I'm simply going to email friends and family to let them know that I'm launching a brand new product. So you'll see here that I have an email written out to my good friends, Matt, Jason, and Rich, and the subject is check out my new product. Hey guys, I've just launched a brand new product on Amazon and I wanna give you the first chance to try it out and save 50%. It's a hip band that you can use for exercise and I really think you'll love it. If you wanna get one and help me launch this to the world, all you need to do is click the link below, add it to your cart, and the 50% discount will automatically be applied at checkout. I've pasted in the link there, just thank them for this, and I hit send. And you can do this for all of your friends and family that you wanna share this product with. Now, even better than email, is actually creating a post on social media, such as on your Facebook page. So let's go and we'll create one on my own personal Facebook page. So here I am right here. I'm going to go in and basically say the same thing that we just did in our email. Now, once I have my post created here, just saying, hey everyone, wanna get a great deal on a cool new product and help me launch a new brand to the world? Then simply click on the link below and you'll get my awesome new hip band for 50% off. So then I simply click on post and then that'll go right on my Facebook wall for all my friends and family to see. Now the last part of the listing launch system is to use something called a Facebook page, which is different than your own personal Facebook profile page. This is for a business that you can create on Facebook for free. And you simply go to Facebook and search on create a page and it'll walk you through exactly how to do that. Now, once you create a page, again, that's completely free, you have all kinds of options available for you. We have a page for Fury Fitness that I'm going to use for the last part of the listing launch system. And I'm gonna use that page to create something called an offer to help share this product with everyone. So on my Fury Fitness page, I'm going to click on create an offer. And this will walk me through everything that we need to do to share this product and the coupon link. So I actually have typed in what I wanna share here. The title of this offer will be Amazon Hip Band Launch Special, save 50% today. Now we can give it an expiration date. So I'm gonna make this expire on the same date that our coupon expires, March 17th. Now instead of in store, we're actually gonna have people buy this online. So I'm going to select the online option and then we're going to paste in the link that we got from the social media promo code. Now we also have to add a picture to this offer and I have one selected for this. So I'm gonna click on add photos. And once we've done that, then we're ready to publish this offer on our Facebook page. Now, instead of actually publishing this right away, I'm gonna teach you another trick that lets you take advantage of the billions of data points that Facebook has on all of its members. And instead of publishing, we're gonna click on boost post. Now this option pulls up the Facebook advertising platform that allows you to target in on the exact customers that you want to try to sell your product to. So the first thing we're going to do is make our ad look a little different. We're gonna put a button on there that says, shop now. And then down under the audience, we're gonna choose people through our own targeting because we have a better idea of who we think might want to buy this product. And I'll show you how simple that is. We'll click on edit. Now we could choose men or women, but um, this product actually can be used by both men and women, so I'll leave that as both. Under the age group, I'm gonna raise this up a little bit to 20 years old, and I'm gonna lower the upper range down to about 54 years old. Now, if you know that your product might be used by different age ranges, absolutely feel free to adjust these ages. Now I could limit this coupon to be shown in only certain states, but I want it showed in all of the United States. So I'm gonna take off the ones that it's suggesting and just type in the United States. Now the next step is using something called detailed targeting, where we get to actually target people based upon their interests and their behaviors. So first, I know that I'm targeting people who shop on Amazon. So you guessed it, I'm simply gonna type in amazon.com and then I'm going to select that as an interest. 
Now I could leave it like that, but I actually want to go ahead and I want to narrow down the targeting even further. And once I've selected Amazon, I can click on the narrow audience button. And what this will do is it'll not only target people who like Amazon, but they'll also have to have an interest of the next category that I put in here. And I'm going to choose fitness because people that actually want to use our hip band are people who are probably interested in getting in shape and exercising. So I type in fitness and then I select fitness as a behavior. And once we're done, we click on save. So now that we've chosen who to show our ad to, the next thing is to choose our budget and how long we want to show this ad for. You'll notice that down here, Facebook is actually trying to get us to spend $300. We don't have to spend anywhere near that. I like to spend about $10 a day and we'll just run this for around seven days. So I'm going to change our budget to $70 for a duration of seven days. And then you'll see that Facebook is telling me that we will spend an average of $10 per day and it'll end on March the 15th. Now, once we've actually chosen that, we're done. That's everything we need to do with the listing launch system. I'm simply gonna click boost, and our ad will be up and running in a matter of a few minutes. Now, not only will you start getting sales right away using the listing launch system, but near the end of it, on day five, six, and seven, you'll start getting natural organic ranking increases on Amazon. So people will start seeing your product right away, even without paying for ads. That's the beauty of the listing launch system, and you've just learned how to set it up from the beginning all the way to the end. What Mike just showed you is how you can take a new product you've just sourced with your brand on it and beat out some of the biggest name brands on the planet with Amazon. Right now is the best opportunity in the entire time we've been doing this for little known new brands because Amazon has completely leveled the playing field. All the new tools and resources that used to be only available to big brands are now available to everyone. And what you can do with these to quickly grow a new brand is amazing. One way to scale your new business is to keep repeating the process Mike showed you and run some simple automated Amazon advertising to keep producing sales. The other way to grow your business to $100,000, $200,000, a million dollars or more per month like people we've taught is to add more products to your brand. Each product you add becomes an asset that's making you money 24-7 on Amazon. Rich, let's show them how to expand the brand on Amazon once they have their first product established. Sure thing, Matt. One of the easiest ways to find products to add to your brand is to let Amazon tell you. So let's go to Amazon and actually see what I mean by that. So we're back at our original listing, the soap dispenser. So all we need to do is scroll down the page and as you will see, we'll get to a section that says frequently bought together. And this is a perfect place to find other products because it means that someone bought this product, this soap dispenser, and they bought something else too. And then we can scroll down even further and go past the sponsored products because this is the gold mine of information we're looking for. Customers who bought this item also bought all of these products. Now, not all of them will be relevant, but for the most part, you're gonna be seeing products that are related. They'll be buying other kitchen items. You can see the first item is liquid soap. Not exactly a big stretch when we're selling a soap dispenser. So all you need to do is click on the arrow on the right and start looking at the other products that people bought when they bought this product. And as I said, it's a gold mine of information. Look at anything related to your product that appears in this list and it's a surefire thing for you. You know that people are gonna buy your product. Another way is to use your competitors. Again, let's go back to the soap dispenser and I'll show you exactly how you find what else they are selling. If I go back to the top, what you're looking for, if you scroll down a little bit, is this sold by the name here. That's the brand name. You just wanna click on it. It opens this page and then click on products. And you just look at the other kinds of products they sell. Now. It's not always gonna be perfect. You might find situations where they're just selling one particular type of product and then they have a whole range of different products. Again, you're looking for related products. So you can look at all your competitors and see what else they sell. Don't just stick to one. Using both these methods can show you a lot of different options for adding to your brand and multiplying your revenue. Back to you, Matt. The strategies we've shared so far can help you build a business that changes everything for you. You've heard how Angie went from being a single mom, barely able to get by, to building a $500,000 per month business that's growing like crazy. 
You also heard about Philip Jepson, who went from selling rugs in a van and taking out money from his daughter's college fund to building multiple million dollar businesses with his family. And then there's Ben DeVries, who has fulfilled his dream of having the freedom to travel the roads with his wife while running his business from an RV. These are just a few of the thousands of people we've helped. We estimate the people we've taught sell over a billion dollars per year on Amazon right now. And it all started right where you are. You've already come a long way on this journey with us and have learned a lot in a very short amount of time, but there's still one more thing left to cover. In the next video, which is the fourth and final video of the series, we'll show you how you can put all of this together so you become the next success story. You'll discover the exact path all the people you've met so far took that led them to where they are today. Plus, you'll learn about something we've never done before that just about everyone will think we're crazy for doing. The final video will absolutely blow you away and could very well change your life forever. For now, Mike is going to tell you about a special bonus he created just for you that's only available for a limited time. So we've created the Listing Launch System Implementation Guide, which walks you through the exact strategies for taking a brand new product to the first page of Amazon, just like you saw today. This strategy is brand new, incredibly powerful, and we're using it in our own businesses every day. The Implementation Guide won't be available for long because we can't let just everyone have access to it. So get your copy below now while you still can. We recently surveyed thousands of our most successful members, some who sell tens of millions of dollars per year on Amazon, to find out exactly the biggest factor that contributed their success. Their answer shocked us. Come back to the fourth and final video to find out the answer.